welcome learners of the MBA program of KK Handik State Open University. We are having a course on marketing management and in this video we shall have a discussion of unit 1. And this unit 1 based on the study material that has been provided to you and based on the learning objectives uh, which are given at the beginning of unit 1, what I have done? I have divided the portion into three videos, small videos and each one will be of about 9 to 10 minutes and this in these three videos I shall cover the entire unit on unit 1 of marketing management. So, this is basically an introductory unit, introduction to marketing management. Now, first of all I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you to the field of marketing. It is a very fascinating field. It is a highly interesting field and all of us right always highly exposed to the nitty gritties, intricacies of marketing. When we get up in the morning right we take a toothbrush, toothpaste right we go for the brands right and we talk about standard of living, we talk about quality of life every day right we come across with the influences of marketing. So, in this introductory video on this introduction of marketing management, we shall discuss the various aspects of marketing management in three parts. Let us start the first part. As I have told you this video will be based on the learning objectives. So, we shall take up three learning objectives. One is first to explain the concept of market because marketing is intricately related with market. Then we shall discuss the concept of marketing management. Then we shall discuss the exchange process. Then the remaining learning objectives we shall discuss in the other parts of the video. Okay. Now to explain the concept of market, normally what do we mean by market? A place where business is conducted like say fancy bazaar, fun bazaar, bar bazaar is not it. That is what we mean by market as if it is a place in which exchanges take place buying and selling takes place. It is a place where business is conducted with definite geographic boundaries. But in the marketing terminology that we are going to discuss in this course, market will have some other meaning. It is basically you can say it is a set of actual and potential customers of a given product or a service. Suppose we talk about bath soap market, we talk about shampoo market, we talk about television market. So, television market the actual customers of television and the prospective customers would be the future customers of television. They are all parts of market. So, television market in Guwahati, television market in North East, in that case it can be place specific, but otherwise by market we shall mean and in, you know there is a in your SLM there is a definition given on market that what do we mean by market. Market is defined as a group of potential customers right, including the actual customers with similar needs or wants who are willing to exchange something of value with sellers offering various goods and services to satisfy those needs and wants. So, market will comprise of a set of actual or potential customers of a given product or service and they will be having the similar needs. So, in the suppose I have given you the example of bath shop market. In the bath shop market some may be interested in going for the herbal things only. So, they will be say the neem soap or say the toothpaste right. There could be someone who may be interested in clove oil say promise or say Colgate herbal right. That is um, Colgate bath shakti. So, these are the defined examples right in which the set of consumers will have a uh, similar kinds of needs or wants and ultimately they will uh, be engaged in an exchange process in which the marketers will offer the things and the consumers will make the payment and this can be extrapolated also. This can be extrapolated in this sense that we can talk about a simple marketing system, very simple marketing system. Here you can see basically it is an interaction between the industry and the market. By industry we mean a sell right, a set of sellers. By market we mean the set of collection of buyers, the set of consumers. Industry is collection of marketers or sellers. So, the sellers and buyers interact. So, sellers sell goods and services in case of banking say they will sell services. 
in case of insurance they will sell services, in case of consumer goods durable goods they will sell goods. So, the industry will sell goods services and the market will make payment and they will buy the products. But in between while doing this what they will do? The industry will communicate to the target market about the kinds of products, their prices, their features, their benefits and the market will give the feedback about their extent of satisfaction or there could be some complaints in respect of uses of the product. So, this is basically a simple marketing system in which there will be continual interaction between the industry as well as the market. So, we can talk about key customer markets you see one is the consumer markets you and me we all are consumers we buy lot many things as I have told you we buy toothpaste, we buy toothbrush, we buy bath soap, we buy shampoo, we buy televisions is not it. So, consumer markets you and me and these consumer markets contribute about 60 percent of the gross domestic product in our country. So, huge market consumer market. Then there is the business market, business market means the industrial suppose I have been giving you the example of Colgate toothpaste, Colgate toothbrush, the Colgate, Colgate is also a customer, Colgate sells the products, but in order to manufacture those products Colgate needs something, so they will buy something. So, they belong to the business market, somebody will sell something to Colgate, so that is business market, business to business, consumer market business to consumer. Then government markets, suppose this business market say l &T, or say Jindal Iron and Steel Company or say Tata Steel, they will sell say Tata Steel will sell lots of steel to Indian Railways. So, Indian Railways is an example of government markets. Global markets suppose right LG is a Korean company. So, LG is here right and we say German technology somebody says Japanese automobile companies right all these are Japanese automobile companies will be making their sales in say America or say in Canada that is global market. And in addition to all these things there could be the non-profit markets suppose the universities they are not profit making organizations, charitable organizations they are not profit making organizations they also are a big market. So, market is not necessarily a place, market comprises various key customer markets as I have told you consumer markets you and me, business markets the business to business raw materials the right? business will purchase raw materials they will purchase equipment they will process machineries, government markets say I have given you the example of Indian railways, global markets right, a Japanese automobile company or a German manufacturer with a Japanese technology will sell something in Vietnam that is a global market and a non-profit market like say universities, charitable organizations etc. Then based on this understanding let us try to discuss what is marketing management. Dear learners, when we discuss marketing normally we will shall come across with a glossary of terms just now we have explained market. Likewise what is marketing, what is marketing management? You see American Marketing Association AMA is a nodal agency and they provide various definitions. So, the definition of marketing management that American Marketing Management Association Marketing Association has given is that marketing is an organizational function. So, in an organization there is production, there is purchase, there is materials, there is research, there is engineering. So, marketing is an organizational function and it involves a set of processes like what creating, communicating and delivering value to the customers means offering making some offer to the target customers. So, that the customers with the customers relationship can be maintained and that ultimately if we can make a mutually beneficial relationship with the customers what will happen the customers will get the services of the product they will make the payment and we shall be able to earn profit it becomes a mutually beneficial relationship process. So, marketing management according to American Marketing Association basically talks about that kind of an organizational function which is highly focused about creating and maintaining a mutually beneficial exchange relationship of the customers as well as the marketers. So, that is basically all about the marketing management. So, this involves exchange, marketing involves exchange, you cannot force something on the customer. If you see suppose a hungry person you are feeling hungry in order to get rid of your hunger what you can do? You can go to a restaurant means what? You will have to go to the restaurant you will have to make payment then you will be served food that is an exchange or you can go to the grocery store you can purchase something means again exchange 
Be, going back home, you can prepare your own food, but before that, you had to be engaged in the exchange process. So, whatever we do, whether we cook at home or whether we go to the restaurant, whatsoever, it's always exchange. Suppose we talk about, say, our own garden, hmm, kitchen garden. There also we shall have to purchase the seeds, we shall have to purchase the fertilizers, chemicals, is not it? it? It could be organic chemicals, it could be organic manure, whatsoever. So, suppose for a theft, for a thief or a burglar, they can rest food, possibly they can take food or someone who can beg food, a beggar, say for a beggar, for a thief, for a decoit, exchange may not be involved, but for all others, exchange is involved. So, when exchange is involved, that is basically marketing. So, marketing is all about that all pervasive exchange processes. So, this exchange process, so basically core concept of marketing and it in, involves obtaining a desired product from someone by offering something. So, we make payment and then we get something. Earlier, suppose there was the barter system, that was also an exchange system. But for an exchange to have its meaningful context, certain conditions. What are those conditions? For exchange, there has to be two parties, is not it? And each party has something that might be offered to the other party. And each party is capable of communication and delivery. They will have to be, because they know Suppose I am a marketer, I know what I am offering, you are a consumer, you know what you are buying. And each party is free to accept or reject, there will not be any kind of imposition. And each party believes that it is desirable to deal with the other party. So, marketing will take place when all these conditions will be there, then it becomes meaningful marketing, it becomes mutually beneficially exchange relationship, which is a desirable thing as for marketing. We shall talk more about marketing, more about unit 1 in the subsequent videos. Thank you.